Boom, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the final tier list and how I feel about all characters and where I placed each one. I'm putting it at the front because a lot of people like to skip through the video and skip all the way to the end just to hear my final thoughts. So I'm going to place it at the beginning. And if you want to feel free to support the video, please feel free to let it run from start to finish because YouTube calculates off watch time. Hey, yo, Anna, die. Let's get it. Honda. Ah, uh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I have no respect for Honda. I have no respect for Honda. I don't I don't give a flying hoot about Honda. All this character is is just headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. You mother loving hot. You know what? Yeah, I'm throwing shots. Alright? I'm throwing shots because I'm sick of it. You mother loving Honda players. Hey! Y'all be doing something. Uh, but all it is is just butt slam, butt slam, head, butt, head, butt. And then y'all wanna throw in a little extra mix every now and then with a little command grab. Y'all mother lovers think y'all be doing something, but you ain't doing nothing. Alright, it's just Chuck T. Ladies and gentlemen, season one is coming to an end. We are preparing for season two, Akuma, and many more updates along the starting cast that came with the game. But I actually have to do a tier list with my personal thoughts, including how I feel about current characters and where they are from top five to bottom five, so on and so on. Before I actually get on with the tier list, I have a quick thing to say based off a of previous tier list that I have done. Tier lists are completely opinionated, and I feel like most comments are kind of angry for some reason. Mother lovers be attacking me because I be giving my own personal opinion. But at the end of the day, okay, this is how I feel. So the characters who I put in top five may not be top five in somebody else's tier list. The people who I put at the bottom may not be at the bottom of somebody else's tier list, all right? So any mother lover that feel like they want to throw some hate at me, guess what? I don't care. Let's get it rolling. So here we go. Street Fighter VI tier list for the end of season one all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and roll with it from left to right start to finish so ryu being the first character all right so my personal opinion on this on this character i feel like he came better with the current buffs he already had one of the best fireballs in the game and with the buff i feel like he went from probably mediocre to a little bit better of course if he puts you in burnout the strains become a little bit more deadly because of the fireball buff. So yeah, Ryu could definitely make you hold more situations compared to what he used to be able to do. Uh, B, I mean, I feel like, uh, I don't know. Ryu feels very stable and well put to me, man. I mean, B tier sounds pretty well rounded. So I feel like most Ryu players would probably have said he's C tier, but I feel like with that buff, it definitely bumped him up some. Right. Not saying he's the best in the game, not saying he's probably top 10, but he's, you know what, B, B, B. I think B is pretty reasonable. Me, personally, I always felt like Ryu was a competent character. Oh, uh, Luke. I mean, this is pretty much self-explanatory, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give some personal thoughts on him also. Luke, you pretty much can't go wrong with this character. He's well-rounded. Good normals, forward advancement on all, strong fireball game, reliable DP. If you don't feel like you know how to DP, you have Crouch and Fierce, which is also really strong. Combos are pretty ABC, but of course, if you want the most out of it, you do have to know how to do uh, perfect flash. But besides that, I mean, Luke is just, Luke is Luke, so it's only right that we put him in S tier. You said Luke is trash? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody had to downplay real quick in this video, why not? Chung Lee, she's super solid. Her buttons are among the best standing jab, low force, standing fair, so fireballs are really good. Her pressure is super strong. Her combos aren't easiest. Her damage is not the best, but it's just get the job done her supers are all really good chung lee is a tier on the chung lee topic no lie as the game went on and approached the end of season one this character slowly creeped up in top five her fireball has always been annoying slow fireball allows her to bait out parries without it actually making contact allowing her to dash up throw ex yellow long is real good okay so hear me out when the game first came out right ken luke and JP were always prime suspects, and of course, DJ and probably Gao. So Chung Lee has always floated outside of top five, top 10. But with nerfs and everything, as the game developed a little bit more, matchups started to become a little bit more understood. This, this character just slowly creeped up into people's top five just because she's overall solid. Character is easily top five? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, bro. Like, Chung Lee has been a sleeper pick for quite some time. Jamie. The hidden suspect. Uh, Jamie definitely made a better presence as the game went on. He's C-Terror. Okay, hold your horses, hold your horses. All right, so in the beginning, 
I, I feel like people might say I'm downplaying this, but Jamie has always been one of the low characters, but the buff definitely did him some justice. Yeah, the buffs definitely did him some justice. He became more of a presence. His usage rate definitely went up. You're starting to see Jamie's way more often. He is actually a threat in the corner now because of the drink buffs. I don't know, bro. I, I used to argue this character being one of the worst, but those buffs definitely made him way more reliable. Now, of course, the patch notes are going to take effect when Season 2 happened, so I can't even speak on that because this is the end of Season 1 tier list. But we all know that Jamie most likely will receive more buffs, but for the sake of this video, we can't base that on his current placement at the end of Season 1. So. I, I feel like he's in B tier, bro. He still don't have damage? He still don't have damage? What? What? He don't have damage? Are we talking about level 3, level 4 Jamie? Where if a command grab leads into level 3, he's about to deplete at least half your bar? Now, just imagine if he did have more damage, right? Level 3 Jamie becomes a mix-up monster. What do you think, Nightmare? Me, personally... I wanted the, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna let him float at C for now, but I I really want to put him at B, bro, but I'm gonna let him float at C. All right, all right, all right, hold, 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 hold. Quick question, how often do y'all fight Jamie till this day where he don't get level three? Do y'all ever fight a Jamie that doesn't get up to level three now? That's what I'm saying. All right, so like I said, I'm going to let him float at C, but I, I might move him to B. Gal is a very, very strong tournament viable character for sure. He's another character that's well kitted with everything he needs. I wouldn't mind him being bottom of five. I mean, with the nerfs to JP, wouldn't it be reasonable to say that JP fell out of top five and Gal could easily be placed top five now? Even when JP was top five, Gal was still in there. Facts, right? So now JP then got hit with a few nerfs, and Gal should still be top five, right? But for some reason, I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I definitely feel Gal is up there for sure. I mean, I, I'm all for hearing people's reasoning on why he's outside of top five, but the question will stand, like, what what is he missing? What is he struggling against? JP level two didn't get nerfed though? True. True. Through. They hit some core aspects with JP, but I'm gonna speak on JP once we get to JP. But for now, I feel like Gal is definitely up there in top five. Uh, Kimberly. <laughs> Beat? Uh, <laughs> uh, Y'all know how I feel about Kimberly. But I'm gonna take my feelings out of this though. Definition of a, of a B character? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna keep it pretty statistical. The character did have her DP removed in the beta phase, so she came into the base game without a DP where this game is heavily orientated around offense. Yet alone, with that being said, she is a mix-up character with full screen EX run high lows. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say she, she's deep there. Mainly because I know that she's playing a game where a DP is so needed that if your character doesn't have it, if your character doesn't have it, you're kinda at a downfall. Jiri. I, I think it's safe to say that Jiri is gonna be the first character that hits A. Yeah, Jiri is a solid A character. She She's definitely fitting to be put outside of top five or within the uh, reach of top 10 for sure. Medium kick, low forward, which I'm name. You know what I'm saying? Most low fours, you feel like when you see Jury, it is it look like it's right here. But as soon as she crouched down and, and extend her body out, you know what I'm saying? That mother level reach all the way out there. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That mother level will reach and clip you every single time you think it's not gonna get you. So she definitely has the staple that she needs for Street Fighter 6. You said Jury seats here? Yeah, she she's definitely going down there with Jamie, right? The only nerf I would like is that her fireball go away if you hit her exactly. Still to this day, I would never understand why if you hit the caster, why doesn't the fireball disappear? You know how many times I hit Jerry? 
but because the fireball was so low to the ground, I still died. That's why it's good to play DJ. She got to store that stuff. So just because she got to store it, that perfectly means that the fireball deserves to stay on the map if you hit her, K-Mine. Delsum, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where to put Delsum, bro. I don't know where to put Delsum. I feel like this character is just a just a blob of confusion to me. Definitely don't feel like Delsum is one of the best in the game. Me, based off of my experience and how I feel about the matchup, I could put him A tier, but S, I'm pretty sure he's not that good. Float, float, throw fireball, extend my arms out 80% of the map, teleport, throw fireballs, and then if you knock me down, I might wake up level two. Sim S is crazy, bottom of B? Bottom of B? So you wanna put him, oh no, you said bottom of B. So basically, you wanna put Delson next to Jamie? They can wake up B.I. Rambo, but I, I feel like the chance of wake up level two is way higher. And just because they could play the mind games between either holding it or quick releasing it, which really don't make a difference, but yeah. Sim is cheeks? I don't think Sim is cheeks, but who am I to talk? I don't personally fully understand the matchup. And like I said, if, if, if I go off of my thoughts on how I feel about this character, he'll probably be eight, but that might be a reach. Honda! Ah, okay, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I, I have no respect for Honda. I have no respect for Honda. I don't, I don't give a flying hoot about Honda. All this character is is just headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. And then the moment I don't feel like headbutt no more, let me go ahead and throw in a few butt slams just to see if you go jump. Thinking that a headbutt coming just to beat the jump start up because I threw out butt slam. You mother loving hot. You know what? Yeah, I'm throwing shots. All right, I'm throwing shots because I'm sick of it. You mother loving nine the players. Nine the players. Hey, y'all be doing something. All right, but all it is is just butt slam, butt slam, head, butt, head, butt. And then I want to throw in a little extra mix of a nine then with a little command grab. Y'all mother lovers think y'all be doing something, but you ain't doing nothing. All right, it's just Chuck E. T. It's just complete Chuck E. T. Honda's pretty bad. You know what? I'm cool with you. You know what, you know what, yeah. D for Dookie Butt, you know what, bet, bet. Uh, Ken Masters, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, good old Ken. Good old Ken. I mean, with those slight nerfs that he took, did he really fall out of top five? He still has amazing corner carry. Two full frame jabs. Extensive low forward, which is the staple of Street Fighter VI. Amazing fireball. But with the nerfs that he took, did that really bring him out of top five? Jinrai, yeah, can't, can't forget about Jinrai. I don't know. I, uh, I mean, I'm not against him being outside of top five. Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I don't know, bro. Are we saying Blanca's top, okay, all right, so let's, let's be real for a minute. Blanca is a menace, can't lie, Blanca, has everything he needs. He has a Blanca ball to allow him to bait throws. He has amazing pressure mix. The Blanca Chan dolls allow for even more mix ups. The character is highly annoying to deal with. But are we only putting him top five because of Mena? Y'all know if we put Blanca top five DJs outside of top five, right? Top five is S tier, right? So if people are saying Blanca's top tier, that means DJ's going in A tier, right? <sighs> All right, uh, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, hold on. Let, let's take DJ back out the list real quick and stay on Blanca a little bit. I feel like Blanca has definitely always been that trump card, bro. But like I said, he, he's always floated outside of top five at first, for sure. I mean, he's another perfect patch there. Pack character. Uh, Blanca definitely not as good as the s tiers, but he's pretty good. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, he's always been outside of top five. I mean, don't get me wrong. If a character is not top five, but they at the top of A, they're technically still top five low key. Like they still up there. So even if we don't put him up here with the S tier, he's basically right there in A tier. All right, DJ. All right, y'all hear me out. This, 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 this is coming from a DJ player that's gonna keep it a buck one time. Man, hold on, bro. What you mean you know what DJ do? Bruh, hear me out. I gave personal thought on all characters so far, so it's only right that I give personal thought on- Dang, they about to 
be no BS, bro. It ain't about to be no BS, bro. I'm gonna keep it a, I'm gonna keep it a buck one thousand with y'all, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck one thousand with y'all, bro. All right, I'm gonna speak on DJ. Everything that I say wrong, just spam the chat with cap, bro. I didn't even start yet. <laughs> bro, I didn't even start yet. That's crazy. Bro, I didn't even start yet. DJ is a very strong character. All right? Very strong. Amazing fireball. Sway is amazing. EX fireball. Medium so bad is a good space control tool. Flying knee could be problematic if you're not quick with your anti airs He got amazing corner carry. Jackknife is a prominent six frame startup move that allows him to punish most things that other characters can't punish. Am, am, am I capping? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it a buck 1,000. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know I'm keeping it a buck 1,000, man. I know. Let me continue. You know what I'm saying? Drive Rush, one of the best in the game. You know what I'm saying? Drive Rush, jab, amazing damage. If you get caught pressing the button on Sway, it could lead to very detrimental why you did that situation. So, you know. I think it's only right that I put my boy DJ in A tier, all right? Because I'm I'm up here keeping it a buck one thousand with you, but at the same time, my boy took some nerves. What you mean, Cap? My boy took some nerves. He took some nerves. Did he not take nerves? Did he not take nerves? How? How? I I just kept it a buck one thousand from start to finish, so my boy didn't take no nerves. See, bro. You see, bro. When 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 I keep it real with y'all, bro. When I keep it real with y'all, bro. Y'all can't agree when I say something that's actually true. You know what I'm saying? And my boy lose the di. You know what I'm saying? And my boy lose the di. So you telling me Blanca better than DJ? All right, bro. Top five, bro. Thanks. All right, bro. All right, all right, bro. bro. Fine, bro. Top five. Jesus. Dang, bro. Y'all y'all just can't let me have nothing, bro. He's too low. He top two to me, but continue. He's top two to you? Top top three, bro. Top three. Dang, bro. Top three. Jesus. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Manon. As much as I hate this character also, Manon sucks. Nah, she low-key C tier. Character kind of hard to whip on. I feel like I could put her C. Yeah, I feel like I, I could put her C. Like Ricky said, low-key kind of hard to whip punish the character. All it takes is one knockdown, then it's time to guess. But of course, that's three, five, to six, so I can say that about any character. But Manon in particular, one knockdown is time to guess because she is a command grab character. Once she gets up to level three, level four, then you really about to be guessing because if you get hit by one command grab, it's about to hurt. So, yeah, I could put her C. Big Marissa, Big Gladiators. I want to hear Ricky's thoughts on this. Damage doesn't get discounted, but she is A tier. B plus, I don't like facing off against her. Can Marissa really be on the same tier with Blanca and Jury? So damage yet alone is why she's up here with Jury and Blanca. But from what I'm getting from the chat, she's going in A because of her damage. Said now her crouch and meter punch is also crazy good button. I'm not against her being an A, but for some reason, I, I feel like she could really float between A and B. She could definitely punish somebody that doesn't want to play patient and respect her options. JP. I mean, it's obvious JP going an A. So, he took some nerfs. Crouching, fierce. That, that was a good nerf. The damage scaling on Amnesia was a really good nerf. Uh, level 2 is still level 2. JP is still JP. The disjointed normals are still there. I mean, JP is still JP. So he's definitely going A tier, but I could probably move him around some. Is it safe to say JP could probably be above Marissa? Put him at the top of A? You know what? Yeah. 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 Yeah, JP could go at the top of A. Cammy's top 3. Cammy's definitely an A tier. I feel like Cammy could definitely go... Cam Cammy's Cammy, man. Amazing buttons as always. Dive kick for those who think they can anti-air and then get hit with a punish counter. Going to the corner. Corner, I mean, character has good corner. Character has good corner carry. Throw loops. When I look at top four right now, I don't, 
I don't, I don't know. Can't. Mm, Mm. I could probably rotate Cammy for Ken if that, but if I'm not rotating Cammy for Ken, I don't see Cammy being over Luke Chun DJ Gal Lily and D. Yeah, yeah, low key. I feel like Lily could be one of those Chuck E. Cheese characters that's on par with Honda. Maybe. Maybe I'm being disrespectful when I say that, but I'm I'm not sure. Dealing with that spiral arrow and yeah, her her buttons are definitely mad good for sure. I can see Lily being in C. Yeah, I can see Lily being in C and put above man on. Probably put above Jamie. Well, no. Yeah, I wouldn't put Lily up. Well, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't put Lily above Jamie. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think that's a good spot for Lily. Very strong buttons. And another annoying thing about Lily is that if somebody really low key don't mind spinning the meter, they could use dry reversal to slow down her approach. But in a way, that actually works for Lily because if you think about it, dry reversal costs two bars, so you're looking at you're looking at three uses at most. But nine times out of ten, person who is managing a meter, they'll probably do it twice. And then around that time, you're close to burnout. That's exactly what, what Lily wants you at. Big Geef Ball. I don't think Geef should be put in D. I can see C. Yeah, Geef got buttons, bro. Nerf Geef some more. Uh, big Geef Ball. All Geef got is Chop. Uh, hello? Fierce? Does Geef not have Fierce, which has armor? I mean, yeah, it loses the DI, but if you get caught pressing something, you gotta get armored. Knock down into a guess. Geef also has driver. Honda too low. Nah, Honda is exactly where I feel like Honda should be at. I don't know, man. Yeah, Geef is a brick wall, but Lily's able to just bully you and just skip neutral so easy, man. Lily plays Street Fighter 6 better, but then again, Geef has drive rush. Geef has. Ah, uh, uh, this is a tough one, bro. I really feel like I could put Rashid. Uh, uh. I, I don't see. No, no. Really? I, bro, I, mm, I don't see. I don't. Uh, I don't see this, bro. Rashid is strong. I'm cool with him being an A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what's crazy about Rashid? When the character first came out, everybody was calling him Dookie, but because of his uh, DP, has been a little bit inconsistent. But as the game went on and people started to develop the character way more, he really worked his way up and became a big threat real quick. Level two is a problem. Throw loops, mix-ups, corner carry. Level two, I mean, yeah. Uh, but top five S tier, I, I just don't see it. Ike, I might have to actually put Ike in B. I don't know what it is. Uh, then again, I'm, I'm feeling B. I don't know if this character got buffed or not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but me personally, I feel like she became a problem out of nowhere. Not putting her in C. Yeah, I, she's B. All right, Ed. All right. I, I was actually waiting on this one, man. I got something to say about Ed, bro. Ed is a strong... Ed's good. Don't get me wrong. The fact that Ed... Uh, Flicker could be made such a presence, but because Drive Impact exists, it makes it kind of weary to want to play his game. But when people make Drive Impact a presence, Ed also has mind games with Backstep. Ed has level two, which is amazing. His jabs are kind of iffy, which kind of default me to getting beat a lot because uh, Crouching Light has no range. Standing jab is pretty good, but it doesn't really contest that well. Uh, light kick is pretty good for contesting and uh, reacting to those that want to overextend. And it's also a three-piece star combo, so it's good for hit confirming. Um, I like his fireball game. He got three different speeds, but which is good. EX allows for potential get-in. With EX follow-up, drive rush, you can do that. 
I mean, the, the EX pull game, if people not di and then you could definitely get away with a lot of murder with the plus four off that. I don't, I don't know, man. Ed is strong, but you have to make him strong. So, no lie, I'm, I'm willing to put him high B, low A. Akuma, I mean, no lie. Akuma, <laughs> he just can't see this character being bad. Can't really say too much. Yeah, Maximum been putting out gameplay on him. We've been seeing like the character guy reviews, the breakdowns and all that. But it's, it's safe to say that we pretty much know what this character is going to be at. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Overall, I still feel like S should have been top three. But I kind of shot the bullet and just, you know, wanted to see how it was going to turn out. But this is the overall tier list for the end of season one heading into season two y'all could kind of like low-key ignore where akuma was placed he's just that's just a speculated placement so he's not really there but he's there but he's not there for the sake of uh season one being ended so hopefully y'all enjoyed the tier list like i said this is all opinionated what i say another player probably will say something different and your favorite player is also giving their opinion what they saying won't be true or it's just what they feel you know so as always go ahead and blow the comments up go ahead and drop y'all opinions y'all know y'all gonna do it anyway y'all gonna probably eat me alive it is what it is because you know that's the sake of the content you know leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will catch you guys in the next one